Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, you know I'm always stressing backups for everything and uh, I'm having to deploy a backup to a backup today in order to get something very crucial accomplished. <laughs> and so far it's been a very gray overcast and off and on some rains today, which isn't gonna really help me too much in what I need to get accomplished. And I'm hoping for some better sunshine because I really need to deploy this backup system. And when things fail, it's always at the most inopportune moments, it seems like. So yeah, I had to go and break out of the box uh, my last measure for taking care of business today. And we'll see if it happens. So I came to my outdoor shower, turned the hot water on, and lo and behold, no hot water. And I really needed a hot shower today in a very uh, desperate way. So my on-demand hot water system that I put in as an upgrade to what I was running, oh, about six months ago, and it had been working really good. The last few days it was acting kind of uh, funky, not turning on like it should, and now it won't turn on at all. I've checked and rechecked everything. Uh, the battery ignition is, you know, the batteries are fine, but it will not ignite. It will not work. That baby is dead in the water, and I got to take a shower today. And this was my original one in there at least for the past six or seven years it had been working pretty good but then i decided to do that upgrade and i saved this just in case but i couldn't remember exactly uh it seemed to me like i had damaged it a little bit taking it apart and i sure had uh, so this i'm not sure it'll show but this line back here is actually completely broken so this is out of commission and I looked at it and I'm not going to be able to patch that in any kind of a way. So why is today so crucial for me to take a shower? Well, one, I'm a little mangy <laughs> and I took a little surgery last week and I've got to uncover my bandages and get them cleaned off today. And man, is this going to be hard to show. <laughs> okay, so right here you can see I took a pretty good cut here. Always chasing melanoma. And I've talked about that with you guys before and why protecting your skin out in the sun is as important as any other thing you're going to do sun-wise. Sun and then I've got some smaller bandages that are just almost impossible for me to reach back here. And for those of you that might not want to see. Now would be a good time to uh, stop the video because I'm going to expose this and this was a pretty good cut here. So I'm going to give you a chance to uh, not see that. <laughs> All right, so I'll see if I can reach this. I've got to get this off and get that adhesive off my body. Oh, I have to pause. That's an awkward position. Yeah, so this is why a shower is important today. I keep these excisions covered up for, you know, when I'm in the house and laying around and uh, I just don't like to be on the sutures. And I still got a pretty good amount of sutures back here. So off comes this bandage. Come on. Oh, so difficult in this position. There we go, okay. Oh. Come on now. Trying to do this to where everybody can see because this is just a day in the life of living off grid. Oh. There we go. All right. So yeah, that was a pretty good whack there. Still got about 20 stitches in there. Skin cancer, my friends, is no joke. I've been through this so many times, it's not even funny. 
and I'm hoping I'm not grossing you out, but yeah, got to clean that. And then those smaller ones have way fewer sutures. There's one there and one over there. Man, this is hard to do in a, in a mirror, two mirrors or, okay. Anyway, that's why I got to take a shower today. And then my hot water heater broke. Damn it. <laughs> oh, and thank goodness while I've been preparing uh, to take a bath or a shower, the sun did break out. It's not as dark and rainy as it was, which is perfect. So here in the back, now in full sun, is my backup to my backups. And this is a solar shower bag. You can see it has rained a little bit on here. I've got it sitting on the back of my truck. This particular bag does have a little temperature gauge. I've never used this before. I'm not worried about how, what that works or not. I don't see any indication about the water temperature, but I just filled that up a little bit ago uh, when it was still dark and rainy because it'll take a few hours to get that up to warm enough to take a shower. So it's about five gallons of water. I'll hang it up out on a tree branch somewhere when it gets warm enough to tolerate. And then it just has a little nozzle that comes down. I mean, a lot of you guys camping and stuff, these things work really good. They work in a pinch and I'm in a pinch. So yeah, and thank goodness it's gonna get warm enough to take a shower. So now I'll just dink around in the shade and wait for that bag to get hot enough to where I can take at least a very comfortable shower. It's still sitting in the back of that truck and you can see now full sun, so that's good. So I always keep one of those around. I mean, before I ever had on-demand hot water heat in the years past, I've relied on those before. They work fine. So I'm gonna get a good shower today and hopefully it'll be pretty warm here in a few hours. Uh, the water temperature anyway because it's really nice it's about 80 degrees out right now so looking forward to that shower <laughs> so yeah guys i've talked about you know the skin cancer thing and uh, not exposing your skin uh, those days are gone and then the older you get you start paying the price i've had more melanoma than i can count and as you can see they cut you quite generously to make that go away so uh, I'm in shade now. I'm under shade. Of course, I never go out like this ever where my skin is exposed. That just never happens anymore. And the only time I walk around without a shirt is after the sun is all the way down, not even a little bit up. My skin is fried from years of playing in the sun and not protecting myself properly. So uh, as much as it's important to uh, take precautions in all of our solar systems, you got to keep your skin in good shape, guys, and take it from me. The older you get, the worse uh, the sins of our youth come back to haunt us. So, yeah, so I'm just going to dink around up here in the shade. I got a bunch of projects and little things I need to be doing, and I am going to do them while my water gets hot. All right. So, yeah, you young whippersnappers, pay attention to what I'm saying and stay out of the sun unless you are completely covered up and protected because uh, you don't want to start dealing with this when you get older because it's just not as much fun as it looks like. So, words of wisdom. Yeah, nothing to do now but wait. That'll take a minute. But... Looking good, looking real good. All right, I'll save showing you my shower scene. <laughs> Aloha, everybody. Have a great day.